Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Welcome once again to the online session with the revision class. And in today's revision class, we will continue the same topic literary terms or figure of speeches. So today we will take a start from imagery. Imagery means descriptive writing that appeals to the senses. That is the definition and that appeal to the senses we have sight, taste, touch, smell and hearing these five senses. So the writing, the writer will use kinds of words which appeal to these senses. Think of it this way. When a writer uses, what uses? Imagery. The descriptive writing helps create a picture or a what image in your mind. Imagery means mental image, mental picture. And when when they use words which brings, which create and make images and picture in your mind. Okay, this example imagery example: the bearers bear the bride along like a pearl on the string. What does it mean? First. Now look at here, if you see, it looks like inside is a bride, the bride is a, is a lady who has just got married or is about to get married, that is here inside and these are the bearers who take this bride. So like a pearl on the string. So so look, this is the the, the image being. Now this the, the the wood stick is looking like a string and on you know and in 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 the box that she is being carried away that look like uh, a shape like a pearl and the bears are these two men so it look like you know the bears bear the bride along like a pearl on a string so you say what does it mean so a, a image creates a picture in your mind now I look at from another point of view the same example the bride skims like a bird on the form of a stream now so you start thinking and making images for example that it it's like a stream and upon the stream is a foam and skims mean to fly so the bright skims like fly on the form of a stream so these is uh, imagery and the words which create image in your mind so you just abstract you just get the meaning and that's the beauty of a language in which you use figure of speech or in which you use these literary terms the next figure of speech anaphora now anaphora repetition of the same word or phrase at the beginning of successive classes or verses so repetition of the same word or phrase at the beginning, at, at the start of successive level. For example, we shall go on to the inn, we shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the year, we shall depend on our island. So you see, we shall, we shall, we shall. So it starts at the beginning word, the same phrase. And now phrase that is repetition, the same word at the beginning. Next example, I came, I saw, I conquered. So this is in one of Shakespeare's play, Julius Caesar. I came, I, 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 I came, I saw, I conquered. So it, it creates a kind of beauty in Afra. So it's, it's a figure of speech or literature. 
next one made world made kings made composition it's also again from the shakespeare play king john second or king john two so made 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 repetition of the word the next one from charles taken a tale of two cities it was the best of times it was the worst of times it was the age of wisdom it was the age of foolishness you see it was the, the, the beginning words been used the same so it creates a kind of you know musicality or musical touch and, and, and a beauty in and in itself in the language so it attracts you and it also it motivates you mentally and, and, and that's language skill in which uh, we find you know attraction now the next one is hyperbole and know hyperbole is a major exaggeration or poor statement exaggeration or statement now exaggeration mean to increase something beyond the requirement beyond the need beyond the limit over statement if you split statement means to say something like sentence over statement to say something more than it needed it's called hyperbole so hyperbole meaning would be exaggeration over statement so other use this figure of speech to emphasize a point or aid humor example i nearly died laughing I nearly died laughing with that, 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 that I laughed so much that, that I was about to die. It means excessive laughing. So that we use hyperbole. Look at this example again. Hyperbole it is a major relation overstatement. Other use of it to emphasize. Again, like I, I nearly died laughing. The next example, you could have knocked me over a feather. You could have knocked me over a feather. I have told you a million times. Nobody literally could say a million times, but it's just exaggerating. My backpack weighs a ton. Now you can see here. Look at the example. My backpack weighs a ton. It's not literally a ton, but you're just exaggerating. Think about a fine example of hyperbole. We will later select the best definition of this fancy. So now you know exaggeration. Next one, hyperbole. Another example: the wall was hundred feet high. So of course it couldn't be hundred feet high. But you exaggerate something. The next one is alliteration. The alliteration is the repetition of beginning consonant sound and frequent recurrence of the same initial letter or sound. It's derived from Latin. Letter meaning letters of alphabet. So repetition at beginning, but consonant, not vowel, not vowel. Consonant. For example, don't drink and drive. So you see, d d. Don't drink and drive. D d d. Don't drink and drive. Next one. If Peter, if Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled peppers. But a bit of better butter will make my batter better. Six silly songs went swimming in the sea. It, it's kind of, uh, you know, tongue twister. But you can see all the initial letters all contains um, a repetition of consonant. P, 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 B, B. Yeah? and six so s s s again look at example take a look at the following example of alliteration braid wore his blue and brown blazer she springs like a beam on the bro of the time gaily or gaily we glide and we sing six swans wind swimming in the sea so you see the initial letter of the same now onomatopoeia Onomatopoeia is a word that sounds like its meaning. Onomatopoeia. How would you pronounce? Onomatopoeia. Now it can also be described as the use of word which imitates a sound. It's an imitation or the copy of the sound. 
Example, screech, whir, sizzle, crunch, bang, zip, roar, growl, click, snap, crackle, and pop. Okay, example, when you see this, you often hear this buzz. You got the fly, the fly. So the fly song is like buzz, buzzing. Hmm? The second one is ring. So the ring sound also, when it rings, so you, you come to know. So buzzing is an example of onomatopoeia. Other example onomatopoeia, when you see this, you often hear this moo, like a, a voice of, of, of a, a car. Moo, the second one is boom, and for the is crack. So, so the, the sounds are the imitation. The words are the imitation of the song. Thank you very much and have a nice day.